Hello guys, Susie Cut here and welcome back to Star Stable. We are here now in Veildale to actually pick up the quest that we have here because we have so many everywhere. So we take a little, little break from Mistful until we are or have control over Civic Light here because right now there's so many quests. So let's speak to Elizabeth right away. Yeah, the decorations or Valentine's decorations are up still, but maybe not in your game because I have pre recorded this episode and the previous one. So we'll still see some Valentine's decorations. Hello, Elizabeth. Hello. Oops. Hello, Stella. The die is ready. Take it to the tailor. I hope he will be pleased. I will. That was very fast. <laughs> Let's go to Civic Glen Village then. Town on the tailor, I have the pink dye, I think. Thank you so much, Stella. I can see that this dye is of the highest quality. This will make a nice color for your waistcoat. Thank you. Now, I need some blue dye for the wool. I know there's a special blue stone in Yorick, which I think will be perfect as a pigment for the blue color I had in mind. Conrad the blacksmith knows a lot about stones and minerals. Talk to him. All right. So in oops, in the direction of Moreland. But then we can also take a shortcut. <laughs> that will not be a shortcut, but a little trip through the circus because I see we have two quests. Quests. There you go. <laughs> there too. So perfect. <coughs> <laughs> My voice and my English sometimes, it's adorable. Not! Okay. I think we will take a shortcut up to the right here. I know we can jump over a fence or so. Now we can actually run through it. Perfect. Ooh. All right. Let's speak to... Uh, What's your name again? Idris, of course. Sorry! Stella, come close. There is a matter of grave importance that I wish to share with you. Okay. My circus of dreams exists to make people happy and fulfill the wishes born from the hearts of all misfits who find their way here. Lately, I have been hearing whispers on the wind for such wish. The world wishes for something beautiful and the amazing Idris is all too happy to oblige. My dear companion C has already been tasked to procure the necessary elements for such a task. And here she is now. <laughs> oh my gosh, how cute is that? <laughs> What are you gonna do? Mm. Gather around, one and all. Let the show begin. What is Dewey doing? Uh huh. Mm. Uh hmm. A little long in the tooth. <laughs> there is a certain nostalgic appeal, but I desire to bring you something truly new. Yeah. She or that horse has purple eyes. What? Let's try that again. Uh, what you doing, Idris? <laughs> oh dear, what is this merry mi <laughs> merry mishap? A bit early in the season, don't you think? A jolly well better send this gift back and open it. <laughs> Do not despair, little flea. We are getting close. My third attempt will give birth to something astounding. Alright. I'm waiting. <laughs> oh! How cute! Magnificent! Or magnifico! Stella, no friar. Indeed, all of your guess upon the miracle that now stands before you. Before us, I meant. <laughs> ah, how 
cute is that? My pinnacle of creation. A true one-of-a-kind marvel that could only happen at Idris Circus of Dreams. Snort. <laughs> now, now, don't be jealousy. You're both marvels in entirely different ways. This new amazing creature will be will bear the name Sani. A fantastical and beautiful creature only to be seen at Idris Circus of Dreams. It's very cute, I have to admit. Interesting, Idris. Very interesting. Mm -hmm. I cannot keep a wonder such as this for myself. This gift to be shared with the entire world. Perhaps even with you. Oh, thanks. Perhaps even with you. <laughs> for small adoption fee, you too could find the amazing Idris Sani in your possession. Who knows? It might even bring you good fortune. Oh, so you can actually buy it. How amazing is that? How adorable are you? The Sunny is a fantastical creature that can only be found at Idris Circus of Dreams. While it has many simi similarity similarities, there we go, to the Yorick Pony based on, Idris gave it a magical coat distinct from any naturally occurring pony. This seems to also have affected its characteristics. There we go, somewhat. As it's even more headstrong than the Yorick Pony and is particularly rel reluct reluctant to jump through hoops. Okay, the transformation seems to have had no effect on its appetite. And this little pony will gladly eat anything, given the opportunity, especially candy apples. The Sunny was born from the wishes of many riders of Jorvik, and it's testament to the powerful magic that unite unity can bring. Whew! Many words, funny words there. But what is this, though? Yeah, must be dismounted. Looks like some voodoo things, though. What is this? <laughs> Greetings, Stella. I have been accepting you. Oh, yes. The great Idris is all-seeing and all-knowing. Your future is clear as a crystal. <laughs> but are you strong enough to know your destiny? My destiny. Relax your mind so that I might better find the answer you seek. Yes, that's right. Now I can begin. Say what? Mm. Is it a equestrian matters that concerns concern you today, or perhaps you would like to dig a little deeper into your destiny? Maybe a bit, a bit deeper. Yes. Give me a horse fortune. I will take the mysterious fortune. Curious. It's doing like... <laughs> Gazing into your soul. This is no time to give in to reset... Resetment. Say what? Into reset... Resetment. A curious friend needs your help. The path before you will be unlucky. So do not go alone. Seek out the help of a cowgirl or perhaps a glowing butterfly. You're talking nonsense now. <laughs> For they can guide you safely in a joyful parade and will become clear in time. You looked perplexed. Yeah, was my fortune to not clear? My, was my fortune not clear? Be patient, Mon All will be clear in time, and do come back tomorrow for another reading. I so enjoy peering into your destiny. Yeah. <laughs> huh. That was special, I have to admit. Oh, what's going on with these? Alright, uh, yeah. We were supposed to go to Conrad. 
Hello, Conrad. Can you tell me anything about some blue stones? Hmm. Yes, Stella. Have I heard of a blue stone? Sure I have. It's called Lapis Lazuli. Lapis Lazuli. And it's very rare here in Yorick. Hmm. Yorick Lapis Lazuli is a rare and beautiful blue stone. To find it, you need to search a long and hard. You need to search long and hard, but I have found a place nearby where I sometimes find a few of them. Right up t up the western part of Nilmer's Highland, you know, there are area to the west of the abandoned farm where I think you used to compete with the Bobcat girls. Right on a rocky knolls, knolls to the far west of the area. If you're lucky, you will find some lapis lazuli there. Come back to me when you have found three stones. All right, you can borrow my pickaxe to break off the pieces. Thank you. Oh, what's going on with all this? That's new. Now we don't have this orange map, but we have all these yellow circles. I'm not so sure if I'm a fan of that. <laughs> okay, stop, beauty. Ooh, I have many things in my inventory now, right now. Here we go. Now we need to go back to Conrad. Conrad, we found some blue stones. Mm -hmm. Oh, you found a real nice specimen of lapis lazuli. Now we have to turn this into dye by grinding, grinding it into a powder. Come back tomorrow, it will be ready then. Thank you! Okay, I know we have a quest here in Moreland, but I really want to get the new race with Molly and also continue on this Gandula lift because then it will be way easier to do quests with, like, Mario. So, go to Civic Glade and continue with Molly and the Gondola lift. And maybe go for Moreland in the next episode. We have so much to do and the time is not on our side at all a lot of people here or not so many too <laughs> hello again stella have you found any missing letters you're wondering how to find them but you had another one i've read all those there we go answer to the order D didn't you see the helicopter which helicopter a huge red helicopter loaded with all the parts of the gondola came this morning. They must have flown all night from the Alps and back. They were flying in the direction of Northlink, so I guess it must have been landed somewhere over there. Right over there and check it out. Thank you. And yeah, we have... Whoa, easy there, horsey. We have a quest with the vet as well. Yeah, because, yeah, I remember now, it is for these chipmunks. Ooh, we should continue that too. Ah, <laughs> No, we keep to the race and the gondola lift and then be back for the chipmunks later on. Marley first, then the gondola lift. Yeah. <laughs> Marley, do you have a race for us? Well, we have already tried it, but have you opened it up? Hmm. Hey, Stella. Do you know what I just realized? I forgot to order goods for the store. There will be a lot of customers now when the new truck is open, so the items I have in stock will be gone in a flash. I will order more stuff right away. Talk to me again when I'm done. Hmm. That went fast, huh? I ordered clothes from Belldale and horse gear from Frygro. The items are ordered but not delivered, and I don't want to wait another day to receive them. That's where you come in. You're kidding me? Oh, I need to go there. Oh, Marley. Hmm. Ride to Veldale and get a box of clothes I have ordered. It will be outside the clothing store in Veldale, ready to be ready to be picked up. Thanks for helping me, Stella. You're a real pal. Take the opportunity to shop in Veldale and enter the competition by the Villa Lake while you're in the neighborhood. Thanks. Something for the horses too. When it comes to the horse gear, Fargo is the place. Their craftsmanship is really something special. Ride over to Fargo and pick up the package I have ordered. Okay, great Stella. I knew I could count on you. 
You can take the opportunity to raise and shop if I go if you want to. It's not that urgent. Can I be back for that? Because I'm in the right direction and we'll be in there in no time after the gondola lift task. But first, the gondola lift task. <laughs> what? Okay. Oh, there was a lot of things here now. <laughs> Hello, Foreman Olaf. Hmm. Hey, it has gone really smoothly, Stella. The gondola lift has been delivered. Super. The gondola lift was the most important thing, but of course we need a few more things too. This is the first time I have worked in Yorick, so I don't know all the local builders here yet. I've spoken a bit with the guys building the tunnel down here, and we might be able to borrow the equipment we need from them. The first thing we need is an excavator, so we can level the ground where the new station will be built. Right over and see if we can borrow their excavator. Ex excavator. <laughs> All right, I will try. Hey, can I borrow some equipment? An excavator? Yeah, if you have some standing by. Uh, excavator. I only have one, you know. But I will let you borrow my excavator if you do me a favor. We have a lot of downtime up here, so I have a lot of time to spend on my favorite hobby, video games. Right now, I don't have any good games, but there is a game I have been wanting to play. It might be even it might even be the best horse game ever. The problem is I can't seem to find it anywhere on this island. Somebody must have it. It's called Zombie Horse Pole Bending a Cup Apocalypse. Are you kidding me, right? <laughs> Find a copy of the game and I will lend you my excavator. Like I said, I have no idea who might have it. Maybe someone who is interested in pole bending. Josh is the first name popping up in my head. <laughs> <sighs> so that means we need to go back to Moreland again. Oh, good gracious. <laughs> This is so back and forth. We will go to Veldale and Fargo in Moreland. All right, we are here. We need to find this box that we need. Oh, it sparkles. Working. Conditions fulfilled. Let's go over to Fargo. All right. The box for the horse gear or with the horse gear. Oh, more sparkles. There we go. Uh, now we need to go to Moreland. <laughs> Back and forth, there we were. Alright, let's find Josh. He likes pole bending. Hey, do you have a game called Zombie Horse? All bending a apocalypse or something like that. <laughs> Zombie horse pole bending apocalypse? Yes, I have that. Or at least I used to have a copy. Come again. It was really great. It was a really great game, but much too scary for me. The pole bending tracks were so scary they gave me nightmares. But I couldn't seem to stop myself stop myself playing the game, so I got rid of it. The problem was I couldn't find a single garbage can in all of Silverglade. Not a single one. Eventually I sneaked up behind Jasper's old house and hide it in his attic. Attic. He wasn't living there anymore, so I thought it wouldn't matter. I know, you shouldn't litter, I'm sorry, but the game is there anyway. Well, that is in, is in two different directions. <laughs> like, see? <laughs> totally different directions. Ah! Why? Mm, okay, we try to find again. Alright, let's go in here then. And see if we can find it. There is the exclamation point. You don't find the game, but that cap looks familiar to you. This could 
Whose could it be? And now I really don't want to continue it because I really want to go to Morley, but we continue. You remember that, Cap? Whose could it be? James. No doubt. But that's also in the wrong direction. <laughs> oh, Susie, what are you doing? Just going further away from Morley. I'm not good at this, though. <laughs> Try to stick to something. There's a love letter here. A letter letter here. No. You're leaving the area. Come on, where is it? James! Do you know a game called Zombie Horse Pool Bending Ecopolips? Ecopolips? I think I say that word different every time. Wallet gun money vanished. We take that later for sure. Oh, Stella. Hey, that's my cap. I lost it a few days ago. Where did you find it? At Jasper's old house? It's good that I sell those caps, so I'm never without one. But that was kind of you to ride all the way back here to return it. Zombie horse pull bending apocalypse? Yes, I have that. Or used to have it. No. Where, James? Where? Computer games around the clock? I remember now, I thought I will start a flea market, which will... We're great here in Fort Pinta and I needed things to sell. I thought maybe Jasper had left some stuff behind that might be good enough to sell, but the only thing I found was that computer game Zombie Horse Pool Bending Apocalypse. That must be the best game ever. It was so much fun to play, I played all night and all day, then all night again. I completely forgot to look after my customers. It was that good, you understand? You understand, I couldn't keep doing that, so I had to get rid of it. The person who bought it was an older lady from Fire Grow. Oh my gosh, no, I'm not going up there. <laughs> ah, I think her name was Mrs. or Miss Morse. Miss Morse. She said, she said, she said she had never played computer games before, but I talked her into buying both the game and my old game console. I'm sure she's in Fargo if you want to speak with her. Well, that will be a mission for the next episode. <laughs> because now I want to go to Molly. Molly, I have the clothes and the horse gear. Mm. Super fantastic. Soon we'll be ready to open for real. Mm. Fantastic. I have more than enough horse gear in my store now. And you got the clock. But okay, you guys, that was all we have time for in this episode, and I think it got longer than I hope, but that's too it's too much to do, so I totally forget the time, and then we are on the road to disaster. No, we are not. <laughs> I um, do so many things in one episode, and I totally forget the time. Okay, you guys, what do you think about today's episode? We did a lot of different quests in different directions, and we are now on this zombie horse pool bending apocalypse or something like that. Uh, we're gonna continue it in the next episode. And I said that we was around Moreland, but we didn't get the quest, or quest there, so I will try to go through Moreland in the next episode. And wow, I don't know <laughs> how much to do. So little time. So yeah, let me know what you think about today's episode, the quest that we did, and this circus, and a horse, and it was just like, <laughs> that was a little weird, but yeah, let me know what you think. So give a thumbs up if you liked the video, don't forget to subscribe, share it with your friends, and i see you in the next episode. Bye!